This is Optimal Work Daily, episode 1273, Six Career Killers and How to Avoid Them by Mikey Rocks with LenPenzo.com. And hey there, I am Dan, I'm your host of the show, and I'm here with you every single day, including weekends and holidays, reading from these great blogs that contain some of the best work-related content that you can find. So now let's get right to our post for today as we optimize your life. Six Career Killers and How to Avoid Them by Mikey Rocks with LenPenzo.com Want to get ahead at work? Here are six big career killers that many people fail to realize will minimize their professional potential in the workforce. One, mistaking volume for effectiveness. Just because you're doing a lot of work doesn't necessarily mean that you're doing your best work. If you're feeling overwhelmed with your workload or you feel like you're not putting out quality material because you have too much on your plate, tap into a professional organization platform to help sort things out. Gretchen Paisano, co-founder and CEO of P-Link Coaching Center, says, quote, the most effective communication is focused, consistent, trustworthy, and accessible. Internal communication platforms like Slack transform office communication, eliminate email from the process, and dramatically reduce unproductive status meetings that are designed to keep everyone in the loop, end quote. Two, clustering in clicks. Joining a click at work can provide a sense of belonging and security. However, workplace clicks can be career killers when you become branded for your peers and not for yourself. This is particularly dangerous for your career when your click has fallen out of favor or is not being targeted for positions of leadership. Becky Saltzman, author of Living Curiously, How to Use Curiosity to Be Remarkable and Do Good Stuff, advises, quote, instead, cross-pollinate and expand your work networks to be broader rather than deeper. Knowing more people and having more people know you will provide more opportunities to step into unforeseen leadership positions. This can also help you navigate group layoffs, end quote. Three, failing to keep up with technology. There's an entire generation of employees who are being phased out of their jobs because they're behind the curve on technology. The harsh reality is that we live in a tech-driven world, and if you can't keep up with the times, you'll be replaced. HR consultant Justine Miller warns, quote, If your workplace implements new systems and you do not embrace the new direction and soak up the training, you risk putting yourself out of a job. People remain in the workplace for a lot longer now so older employees need to be as enthusiastic about new technologies as their millennial colleagues. End quote. Four, trying to be too interesting. When you're new to an organization or feel marginalized at work, making an effort to have your coworkers, customers, and superiors get to know you better seems like a good thing. However, the danger is in the perceived effort. Trying too hard to be seen, heard, and interesting can backfire and make you appear self-centered and desperate. Instead, focus on being interested in others. By doing that, they'll become more curious about you. Saltzman suggests, quote, look for sincere and specific reasons to like people. Ask curious questions like, what would surprise people most about your job? And if you can implement one new policy at work, what would it be? or perhaps interview a coworker about an unusual work-related project that you both find intriguing, end quote. Five, being underappreciated by the boss. Trying to be too interesting can hurt your career, but so can being a wallflower, especially if it means the boss never notices you. It's important to stand out, but even more important to provide value to the company. Career expert Barry Marr says, quote, One of the biggest killers people make in their careers in today's layoff-prone world is not becoming truly indispensable. Find a task that your boss hates to do and offer to take it over. If losing you means the boss will have to go back to doing something he hates, then he'll fight for you as if you were the company's most valuable employee. End quote. Marr also says another smart strategy is simply to write the boss a very short note at the end of each week that explains what you did during the week. Quote, Not only will the boss be reminded of just how valuable you are, but many bosses will save those notes and use them to write your review from them. End quote. And six, letting your true colors come through a little too much. 
You shouldn't act like a completely different person at work than you do in your personal life, but you also shouldn't fly off the handle like a raving lunatic every time something goes wrong if that's something you're apt to do when nobody important is watching. Saltzman explains, quote, Triggers and biases can activate our personal behavior bombs that might cause you to erupt when confronted by others' selfish behavior, false accusations, a lack of recognition, or exclusion from decision-making. So be aware of those triggers before they activate and destroy your career. Create a trigger tool that will help you elevate curiosity ahead of criticism, judgment, fear, and complacency. Doing so will allow you to assess your triggers before reacting, thereby reducing their power over you. End quote. You just listened to the post titled Six Career Killers and How to Avoid Them by Mikey Rocks with LenPenzo.com. When it comes to hiring, don't go searching for the one. Just meet your match with Indeed. Indeed is your matching and hiring platform with over 350 million global monthly visitors and a matching engine that helps you find quality candidates fast. Ditch the busy work. Use Indeed for scheduling, screening, and messaging. 93% of employers agree Indeed delivers the highest quality matches compared to other job sites. One of the things I love about Indeed is that it filters out incompatible applicants. So when you're hiring, the process is much faster and you only have to consider applicants that are already likely to be a great fit. And listeners of this show will get a $75 sponsored job credit to get your jobs more visibility at indeed.com slash startup. Just go to indeed.com slash startup right now and support our show by saying you heard about Indeed on this podcast. That's indeed.com slash startup. Terms and conditions apply. Need to hire? You need Indeed. You don't need me to tell you that something always comes up when you're running a small business. Take the pain out of payroll benefits and HR and put the joy back in running your business with Gusto. Gusto's payroll and HR services can make it a little easier. Gusto was designed for you, the small business owner. They take the pain out of running a business, automatically calculating paychecks, filing payroll taxes, setting up open enrollment. Gusto does it all. Want more? Time tracking, health insurance, 401k, onboarding, commuter benefits, offer letters, access to HR experts. Well, you get the idea. With Gusto, you can focus on the joy of running your business. And it's super easy to set up and get started. And if you're moving from another provider, Gusto can transfer all your data for you. So it's no surprise 94% of customers are likely to recommend Gusto, 94. And here's the best part. Because you're a listener, you get three months totally free. All you have to do is go to gusto.com slash O-W-D. Again, that's gusto.com slash O-W-D. And I'm telling you, you're going to love Gusto. Get started today. And thanks so much to Mikey for this post. He, of course, wrote that for Len Penzo's site. And a bit more about Len, He writes about personal finance and macroeconomics on his personal finance blog, which has now been twice honored as a Kiplinger Best Money blog and honored with two Plutus Awards for Best Personal Finance blog. Len's personal finance articles have been featured in the New York Times, MSN, Business Insider, Money, Time, Forbes, The Huffington Post, Yahoo Finance, CBS Money Watch, and Clark Howard, just to name a few. Len's focus is on the importance of personal responsibility, not only for our personal finances, but also for everything else we do in life. So to learn more from Len, simply come by lenpenzo.com. But that's gonna do it for today. I appreciate you being here as always, and be sure to tune in tomorrow for another article. That is where your optimal life awaits.